pretty in both of, we were like what do you want to do with your life like, Streaming live on WHITRadio.org from High Tech High School in North Bergen, New Jersey, it's a Gooch Trotter Show. I'm your announcer, Max, and now your host, Keaton Jack. Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Keaton Jack. I'm your host, and you are now on the Gooch Trotter Show. Today, it is currently 2.45 p.m., and today on our show, we got Max's producer, Javier, special guest, Andy Winters from the Musical Theater Production Program, Max the Man, Mr. DePiro, Kevin, Liz... And also Daniela. So we got the whole gang, the squad here. And today when we were in the classroom planning on what our show was going to be today, we got into a dispute about, you know, what was the best baseball catch ever. Uh, Our teacher, Mr. P, said that Willie Mays had the best baseball catch ever. And Javier disagreed. Not that he disagreed, but he had plays that were were much better. So we were like, who's the greatest baseball player of all time? And we just wanted to get everyone's opinion. So Andy is our special guest. So we'll just start off with you. Who do you feel, in your personal opinion, was the best baseball player of all time? Well, Keaton, I'm thinking Alex Rodriguez. You're thinking A-Rod. My mind. You're thinking A-Rod. And why are you thinking A-Rod? Well, my man's going for 700 this year. 700 A-bombs. A-bombs. Now, has no one had more than that? I'm going to say they're, no. They're actually... Um, I'm going to say no. Yeah, more. Uh, there, There is, and it's the person that I'm going to bring up. Javier. Just so happens to be a man in the name of Barry Bonds. Barry Bonds. I'm sure we've all heard of that name at some point. Now, wasn't he on steroids, though? Uh, there's been a bunch of talk about him having steroids, why he actually cut his career a little bit short. But I just want to bring up some stats for you guys that uh, might dro- drop your jaw. Um, Barry Bonds, right? He put up a season, 2001, 73 home runs. By far the record in baseball history, most home runs in, in a season. In one season? In one season. A season has 182 games, seven, three, 73 home runs. 162. 162. Um, career, full career, se- 762 home runs all time, which is the most all time. Um, whether it's official or not because of the whole steroid situation is irrelevant because he did hit 200, 762 home runs in his career. His on-base percentage, career-wise, is 444. So almost half of the time he went up to hit, he would somehow reach base. I don't see how you can't say that's the best hitter of all time. And that's that's who I, I'd say is the best. So tell me, has anyone ever heard of a player by the name of Lou Gehrig, perchance? No. Yes, we have. Lou Gehrig. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about him. I've never heard about him. Okay, well, there was this disease that no one really knew the name for called ALS, which does mess up your muscles and everything. And when Lou Gehrig got it, everyone figured, let's name it after him since he's famous and all that. Now, Pretty- L- Lou Gehrig's disease... Is also the ALS. That's what everyone was doing the ice bucket yeah. challenge for. Yeah, yeah that ice bucket challenge over the summer. Oh, okay. Never did it before. I haven't. I haven't either. Not I late. got nominated, but I didn't do it. It's not too late. I never got late. nominated. Never too late. For I was it. thinking about late. nominating myself. I can't get nominated. <laughs> Are you gonna use a scarlet colored bucket? Of course. Hmm. Yeah, but aside from that, back to Barry Bonds. I understand the whole the whole steroid conversation. Hey, Rod. <coughs> Alex Rodriguez, clean. you'll say the same clean. thing. There's a you'll lot of stuff same, going on. <laughs> you'll say the same thing for Alex Rodriguez, but I just think no matter what, whether you took steroids or not, you can't take away the fact that whatever happened, happened. Exactly. It still, take, it still takes skill. It still takes skill. It still happened. You can't take away 762 home runs. You can't take away a 444 career on base percentage. 73 home runs in one season. I think it's a no-brainer. He's the best one. Hmm. If you say someone like that they say was clean, a la Babe Ruth, right? Yep. There's zero proof that he was clean because at that point there was no suspicion of steroids. But were there steroids in that, you know, in the early There the definitely late 30s? were. It was definitely something at that time, but there was no proof as to whether somebody was taking it. So my point is, if just so randomly, and Mr. Placino really doesn't like my argument, but if you're going to tell me that at some point one man stepped up and hit a bunch of home runs in one season, randomly, and then after him a bunch of great players come hitting home runs and home runs and home runs, you mean to tell me there's zero steroid influence? And here comes Mr. P, because he doesn't like what I'm saying. Because he's getting ready to walk in here. Mike, <laughs> uh, sorry, Javier, I, I disagree. It's okay. Uh, Babe Ruth uh, didn't... Uh, as we know, there was no steroids back there. What could he 
There definitely were. But can you prove man. that? Mm. What can you and prove, he man? Handedly, uh, brought baseball back to life because there was a thing called the Chicago Black Sox. Have you ever heard of that? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. That scandal where yep. the Chicago White Sox threw the World Series. Baseball was in bad shape. Babe Ruth brought it back uh, with all the home runs, and he was just. Uh, he and Jack Dempsey were the two most popular sports heroes of the 20s. And, Great Bambino. Uh, I just think there's no proof to even say that he took something. That's you, my opinion. Do, do you think, however, that... Hey, Mr. P? Mr. Okay. Mr. Placino. Mr. P, we... All right. Um, All right, yeah. Do you, do you honestly hear. think that there's zero suspicion, however, of there being... You on it? You on the show? Do you think there's zero suspicion that... By any chance, he was taking steroids? Because I, I could pull Babe up Babe Ruth? Babe Ruth. I Babe think Ruth? they just invented steroids in the 80s. No. I'm not sure. If somebody wants to research that. Uh, uh, I don't think there was steroids back in the 20s. I, I, I mean, I think it was all, I think it was invented in the 80s. Ah, uh, Mr. P. Anab anabolic steroids were developed in the late 1930s, primarily to treat hypogonadism, a condition in which the testes do not produce sufficient testosterone for normal what growth. Year? So, uh, Javier's story could check out. What year was it? The late 1930s. Well, Babe Ruth stopped playing baseball in 1934. Ooh. All right. So his story does not check out. All right, Damn. let's let's put Babe Ruth out of the way. If you, if you <laughs> I mean, because I'm looking at another source, right? And it's saying that by the 1920s, there wasn't something known as a chemically... Is Mr. P here? Is, is Mr. P not there? Well, I mean, but... Um, I have another source right here um, from Radical Baseball, which is... A, uh, it's been quoted by ESPN, saying that what was known as steroids that we know today didn't exist back then, but there was still performance-enhancing drugs. Not what you'd say is steroids, but still performing enhancing drugs as far as the early 1900s. But they weren't as powerful, right? They've totally changed ever since then to now. They're totally more effective. A lot more people use them. That's my point. That's the point I'm making. Yeah. But does what, it justify what you know, what you know as a steroid wasn't exactly what they referred to back then, but it was still performance enhancing. Just well, there. to lighten the mood, I mean, my, you know, the greatest baseball of, uh, baseball player of all time is none other than Air Bud. Air Bud, okay? I'm actually going to have to agree with him. Here, here are his stats. Yeah, I'm going to have to agree here with him. Here are his I'll stats. Give him I'll give him that. He's making, yeah, you know, Air Bud. Let's hear it. 11 different movies, each him playing a different sport. Who was this? Air Bud, Mr. P. <laughs> You never heard of Air, Air, Air Bud? How do you spell it? A I R B U D. <laughs> and his it's greatest his play was the seventh inning fetch, which is why they made a movie about it in 2002. Didn't he ball up, up too? I have no idea who he is. Yep. Didn't he so, play basketball? So basically, his puppies are kidnapped. Yeah, he did. His puppies are pit kidnapped by uh, Rocky the Raccoon and. Uh, <laughs> Uh, he joins the baseball team, and he starts playing baseball. In the movie, he got about 22 home runs, 11 steals, 62 RBIs, and a perfect game at pitcher. Those stats, uh, don't quote me on that. Do we really have a caller? Uh, guys, we got a caller. His name is Billy, I think. Here, answer it. Billy from Sea Caucus. Billy from Sea Caucus. Answer yeah, hello. It. How do we put them on? All right, uh, you press it the button. It has to do with the dashboard right there. Hold on one sec. Javi, let's do it with the board. Wait, hold on one sec. I don't hold know on. how I can do this. We have to get you on. Not yet. Wait, hold on. He should be on now. Hello. Is he on? Hello? Oh. Hello? Hello? Did somebody turn the, the radio off? Too late. Why couldn't you get on? I don't know. I, I don't you know. never picked that phone up. If we had an actual phone. I know, but you never pick that phone up. You pick it up from here. I know you didn't know that, but now okay. you know. It was a guy from Seacock saying something about Airbud. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 
Where do we Proof that we have fans. All right. Hello? He, he hung up? Keep he was on. saying something about Air Bud, how he's only a single hitter. Why don't you call him back? Uh, Either way, Air Bud yeah. is the greatest athlete of all time. There no doubt. There has been no dog or man that has played every sport successfully. <laughs> and he was a golden retriever at that. So. Of he's course. Good, he's he's probably the greatest time. since Michael Jordan. Yeah, but better. Better. The thing about Airbud that separates him from everybody else is that people fail to realize that Airbud was a dog. I did. But then not only I did Airbud go the extra mile to do what only humans could do, but he brought a whole community of dogs to believe that they could play baseball, they could play basketball, they could play football. Yeah, we had snow buddies. This is a renaissance dog. Hey, this isn't just any dog. But you can't forget about the other great athlete, the MVP. The most valuable primate, Jack the Monkey. You know, Jack, Jack hey the guys, I think we got someone calling again. Jack, right, Jack, right, right, let, me, let me give you somebody else. Let me give you somebody else. Let me give you somebody else. Hold on. Caller. Hello? 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 Hey, how you doing? Yeah, yo, know, Air Bud. Uh, Listen, yeah. first of all, he was uh, half human. No, uh, nobody really knows that. He has human genes in him. False. It's, uh, it's a long false. story. I don't this want to is talk a false. About what happened because it's in high school. This is a false. And, uh, cut the guy off. Cut the guy off. Cut, cut him off. Cut him off. Cut him off. Well, uh, I We're, have to disagree with that. He was 100% yeah, well, full golden it was definitely retriever. Dog. I apologize. There's for no that human call. in that dog. Guys, calm down. Calm. I apologize for that call because this guy just tried to come on our show and say blatant lies about Airbud. He said he was half human. He definitely was Look not a human. He was a full dog. dog. He was a golden retriever. It's a dog. It's a dog. It's a dog. Now, Can I want to make say he point. was top dog? He was definitely a top dog. He was number one dog. Number two. Dog I wanted on. to add. I wanted to add something. Uh, somebody also that was great in baseball that not many of us know. Have you guys know about uh, backyard sports? Backyard sports, real quick. Um, I love that Sanchez. game. Oh, my Pablo God. Sanchez. Backyard Sanchez. Sports was the best. My man Pablo Sanchez, home runs after home runs after home runs. Backyard football. Backyard football was a realist where Dante ate all the popcorn. And so all right, guys. Okay, we're so going to have to start wrapping it up. Yeah, we football. Wrap we're going like to have to come back to the classroom to end our show. This has been the Harlem Gooch Riders show. It was great to have Michael or Andy Winters as he goes by. Almost slack. Mm, Whatever yeah. the ladies Musical like. theater production. Go to the Winter Showcase when it comes up, guys, and we'll see you later. We're out of here. Thank you for watching. Turn into WHIT Reno's YouTube page for more shows, and have a wonderful day. Have a blessed evening.